Hi everyone, this is a tutorial uh, video on how to use a club system that I've set up using different scripting tools within Google Apps, uh, mainly Autocrat, Formule, Form Ranger. They're the three main ones that I've used. Um, this is the club sign up sheet. So this will be signed, um, filled out by the teacher. So we're going to fill one out very quickly now. So we're going to do a singing club. Join the choir. And this is for year three, four, five, and six. And then we choose the CCA time. So we're going to use um, after school on Monday. And the location of this will be the music room. And there's a maximum of 20 people allowed to join this CCA. Then we submit the form. Now that form has now gone to the submission spreadsheet. So this is the CCA submission response spreadsheet. So as you can see, uh, here right here is the Join the Choir singing club that we just created from the form. Now if you scroll along here, what I've done is I've created a few formulas here to distinguish what, to make it easy for the um, administrator to see exactly um, what year groups this CCA is for. Moving on further with this spreadsheet, you can see here all the grey cells here are the cells that have been populated from the submission of the form. All the white cells, all of these ones here, these are formula cells. So the, this is a formula that I've written in order to calculate the necessary data from these grey cells. Now in order to do that, what you need to do is install a script into the spreadsheet so the formulas are copied down once the submission of the form has been done. And to do that you insert a script called Formule and then you can click on Formule and down at the bottom here there's Advanced Options. So if you click on Advanced Options then you click on Copy Down Formulas on Submit Form. So once you do that you choose the fields that you want to copy down and then every time a form is submitted the formulas will be copied down to that row. The next part of the process is for the parents or the students to receive this form and complete it. So I am going to, uh, I pre-populated this sheet as you can see. So it's Mr. James Kirk and I'm using a, a test email so then we can continue. And then we're going to put in the student information. So the student form name goes there followed by the year group and then we continue to the groups. So then we choose a date or a day that we want to, to do the CCA. So this is Tuesday after school continue that and then this is pre-populated from the previous um, submission form that the teacher did so we can choose Nexus TV continue and then they can choose another day so let's choose Wednesday after school this time and then continue pre-populated Minecraft continue and then when they finished they click on the top one and finish choosing then they continue and then they can put some notes in here and then submit the form and then that form is then been submitted to the booking form spreadsheet. Once the booking has been submitted by the parent or the student, they can go to their email, either the parent email or the student email. This is the parent email and you can see here there is the submission. So we can click on the email and it will tell me which CCAs I've just signed up for. Now these CCAs is down here is not confirmed yet. This is an email to indicate that uh, what CCAs have been submitted from the form. You can also see the same thing has gone to the parent and the student. So we can see here both of these entries that we've uh, put in have been recorded in the email. You can see everything else though is blank. So once the submission has been made the, this, the entry will go into this spreadsheet. Uh, you can see here Mr. James Kirk has been added at the bottom. Um, this will be the email address of the person who completed the form. And this is the email address of the parent. It would be the, 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 the learner's account that this will be recorded from. Like the submission form, I've also included the formula script in this spreadsheet as well because if we scroll along here, all the grey cells are all the, the cells that have been populated by the form. 
and then all the white cells are those which are formulas. So I've created formulas here for these particular cells and I want formula to copy these down. In addition to that, what I've done is I've included a email template. So this is the email saying that the email has been sent. So we again, we use formula for this. So if we click on formula here, we can set up the email merge. So this uses the email merge to email the confirmation once that form has been submitted. So within the CCA booking form, there is a, a tab here called CCAs. Within that tab, what it's doing is it's, it's telling you exactly how many people have actually signed up for this form and actually how many places are left. So there's a few formulas that have actually been created. So you can see here for Monday after school tennis, there is a count of two people have signed up, so 13 places remain. Once it's reached the maximum number, what it will do, as you can see rugby here, and we can see here that this is actually full. Now, when it is full, it will remove the entry from the, the booking submission form. So parents won't be able to see the rugby CCA once the CCA is full. The CCA form inserts sheet takes all the CCAs that are not full. And then we use the Form Ranger script to actually populate the different entries in the form. So we can go to the um, booking form and then we can see here, if we click on this, these are all, these are automatically populated as a result of this column here. When a new entry appears in this column from the CCA submission form uh, spreadsheet, once that happens, then this particular entry will get updated. Uh, this, this way it links all of the spreadsheets together. So a teacher will submit a CCA, that will go to the booking form um, and it will go to the form inserts spreadsheet. It will appear here and then using the form ranger script, it will then populate the form fields. The next step is for the administrator of the CCAs to actually approve the CCAs that the, the students have signed up for. So at the bottom here, there are several tabs, Monday lunchtime, Monday after school, Tuesday lunchtime, etc. Okay, so you click on the relevant tab for that particular CCA and then what you do is you approve the CCA. So Mr. James Kirk, that's the one that we entered earlier. This one hasn't been approved, which is Tuesday after school. Then what we can do is we can go to the approved CCAs unsorted. Okay, so what this will do, it just lists every entry that's come into the spreadsheet. Okay, so we can see here, this is everything that has been approved. You can see the approved entry here. It does this by time of submission. Okay, so at the bottom here, um, our James Kirk actually has not been entered. So if we go back to our Tuesday after school, and now we enter yes for this. Okay, now Mr. James Kirk has now been approved. We can go back to unsorted. And now we can see at the bottom here, Mr. James Kirk, Homer Simpson, that has been approved. So we're listing it. Now this tab here, this approved CCA sorted, what this will do, it will sort it by preferred name. So we can see here um, all the Anakin Skywalker, um, et cetera, et cetera, on the bottom. So if we was to find Homer Simpson, we can see Homer Simpson here is Tuesday afternoon has been approved, but it's been by listed alphabetically by preferred name. Okay, we've seen two scripts that we've actually installed into this spreadsheet. We use Formula and Form Ranger. There is one more script that we can actually use, and I've installed Form Limiter. If we look at this and look at settings, this allows us to limit when we want this form to go out. So for example, we can give it a date and a time of when we want this form to be actually completed. It's really useful for CCAs and clubs because there's gonna be a cutoff point where nobody can actually then sign up for CCAs. A really good script, really useful. The next part of the process is the CCA report. This report allows the administrator to send a letter to the learner and the parent of what CCAs have been approved for that particular student. Okay, so let's uh, we go to the CCA report uh, spreadsheet, and you can see here this has actually imported all the data 
from the CCA booking form. OK, so what we do is we look down at the bottom and we can see here the Homer Simpson uh, by James T. Kirk, the two CCAs that this particular child has wanted to do is uh, uh, Nexus TV and Minecraft. OK, so what that will do was then pull that over to the report page. OK, so then that will do. Let's have a look at Homer Simpson so we can look at Homer Simpson's record and it just uh, accumulates that data into one record rather than two. So then I can see here that Club A, Club A up here is um, Nexus TV, okay, and Club B is Minecraft, okay. So and then we can just scroll along and it will also tell us that we've got Club A is going to be on Tuesday after school and Club B will be on Wednesday after school, okay. So it accumulates that data. We can now use another script to actually create a report for the learner and the parent um, with all the CCAs they have signed up for. So we're using something called Autocrat okay, and this allows us to do that. Before you set up Autocrat you need to create a template. So this is a template that I've actually created so it's taking these fields and these fields here and this is what it's going to populate. So we go back to our report page and we can see here as we scroll along each entry has got a form and you can see all these ones have been populated so we need to populate this final entry for James Kirk or Homer Simpson. So let's go to Autocrat and we're going to run the merge. We're going to run the full merge and it's only going to do it for one record so we can click on run merge. If we scroll along here we can see as, they, as these fields actually get populated so this has actually got populated and here's the link and at the end here it finally tells us that PDF has been successfully created and it's been attached to an email sent to these two email addresses. So now we can go to the email address of the learner and the parent. This is the parent email address. You can see here CCA approvals for Homer Simpson and we can click on this and we can see here there's an email to Homer Simpson. We've copied in the parent and we can view that. And there we can see your child, Homer Simpson, and these are the CCAs that they have been signed up for. OK, so if we now, now go over to our uh, parent email address. So here we go. This is our parent and they have exactly the same email so they can then view the letter directed at them as well. That's in essence is the whole system of the whole CCA system. There's a there's a couple of other things as well where I've actually included a register. Teachers can actually take attendance um, for their CCAs. It's just imported everything and we use a filter. A teacher will click on we want only Friday after school and then we want everything for catch and then the, the teacher can then fill out the attendance form for this particular CCA.